Welcome back to another vlog. We're in Amsterdam. We're just about to explore. This is day one. Renee's wearing double denim. And these two pieces are from two different stores and I'm shocked at how much the denim goes. It literally looks like a matching set. These shorts are from Thrills. This is from White Fox and this is also from White Fox. Oh, there you go. And these are the shoes that I'm wearing. Um, and then I've just got these jeans on that I've worn like this entire trip. These ones are from Zara. And this top, which um, I've booby taped and I've got some nipple pads. So that's not moving at all. Princess Polly. Princess Polly. If you're new here, we got a matching tattoo in France and we wanted to get another matching tattoo while we're traveling on this holiday, but we're not sure what we want to get yet. Made it to Amsterdam city and Jazz and I, well Jazz forgot her sunglasses. I've yeah. lost, I've mine broke. So first thing we're doing before we get food is finding somewhere that sells sunglasses. I just want to see the city, but I'm like this. Gotta watch those bikes. Oh, actually the traffic goes the other way. Oh, That's why I'm getting more confused. We found the perfect little breakfast spot right near <laughs> I forgot what it was called. Bagels. <laughs> oh, I was going to say I have the biggest brain farts today. Still have not got sunglasses, mm. but food is priority. You could just easily get hit by a bike here. I actually am shocked how many bikes there are. I feel like the thing that we said the most walking down there is watch out, watch out. Can we please get two oat lattes double shots? Thank you. Uh, still looking at the food. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you. Yeah, I'll do that. Bagel with crunchy peanut butter. Bagel, cream cheese, honey, and walnuts. Bagel with salmon, avocado, cream cheese. That's what I'm getting. Coffee has arrived. We got our oat latte. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. As soon as it touched my lips, I knew it was going to be yum because it had so much flavour. Oh my god. The mm. bagel has so much flavour. Oh no, wait. The best bagel ever. Sure. Oh, bagel, sorry. About to try on some pieces. This is Jazz's pieces. Looking very nice. She's got four, and then these are mine. And Jazz picked out these two. <laughs> I'm not. If, I know I'm not going to get this. I just want to try it on because it looks cool and it's got pockets. I reckon I can undo this. What do you think? It's nice. I really like this. This is cool. I love the colors. It's just a jersey, an open jersey. Second piece. Yep, I love it. It's really nice. I really love this piece, but I'll definitely put something on. Other Obviously piece. something under yeah. it's looking a little bit. Maybe like a collar. Mm -hmm. Like a collar or a white little top. Jazz has just put a white collar underneath and I think it looks so much better. Um, the frill at the bottom, I'm not sure about. I was about to try this on and I didn't realize that it's actually pants. So I'm not trying them on anymore because I'm sorry, not my vibe. <laughs> I thought it was a skirt and it would have been like this, but I'm going to be like this. Cute, but it's a bit big for me. No. Oh. I don't know. Because it's got that, which is cool. Aww. So I ended up getting both of these pieces and I didn't even bother taking them off. I just walked up to the counter and I was like, can I just pay for these two? And she's like, yeah, sure. I ended up getting this red top because I think it goes better with the denim. It's got these two little girls. I brought out this camera because I wanted to start taking more photos with this little digital camera. This is the Kodak camera from JB High. And the photos turn out so nice, especially in like shops because it's got flash. It's so hard, it doesn't take it straight away. Thank you. 
Oh, we got cards. There you go. Best of all. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Right, cheers. Cheers. Yes, yeah, sorry, you don't want to. We got the vanilla matcha latte. Cheers. Cheers. Such a nice flavour. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, look, you can just do this, Jess. Yeah, no. Sun is still up. We're about to go home now. We've done our shopping. Jazz, hello. We've got our shopping. Pop I'm up the so bag. tired. <laughs> uh, my legs hurt so much. We've done so much standing today, but it's been so good. And we're coming back tomorrow. Am I thinking of extending this holiday because Amsterdam is 10 out of 10? <laughs> Pencil legs. You know what would be really good right now is if my boyfriend could rub my feet. Oh wait, I don't have a boyfriend. How much? <laughs> oh, 100 bucks. We have some Dubai chocolate to try with you. I found Dubai chocolate in Amsterdam. Are you sure? And I have, but yes, it's called, it was called Dubai. And I've just, I've been wanting to try this chocolate. Just one thing. Wash my hands. Yes. Just wants to film a TikTok as well, trying the chocolate. So, oh no, it's, it's been squished. Oh, that sucks. Oh, it actually looks like diarrhea. <laughs> it's green. Okay. Ready for this? <laughs> no. It's just too much pistachio. Too much me. pistachio, you're right. Oh, perfect. Who put that there? Oh, it's full of pistachios. I don't mind it. I love Amsterdam and I want to come back here with my boyfriend because this city is so romantic. I just see couples and there's the canals shops okay so day one all we did was shopping and that was not the plan we were supposed to do shopping in the morning and then go to museums and then our whole day was just shopping no we literally walked down this alleyway this like street and we spent the whole day in that street just going going through in all the shops i'm talking six hours mm. one street first of all we went into so many vintage shops and we actually didn't buy that much, but we did buy a couple of things. I think mm. I bought more today than you. Let me go with my first piece. Yep. I already showed you this, guys. It's a pink vest. I bought it specifically to go over this top. I can smell the perfume. It's leather jacket with the straps on the arms, and it's kind of cropped. And this was expensive, 75 euro. I want to start wearing more hair accessories. So I bought this scarf. I've got one very similar, but not this color. When I'm getting frizzy bits, I can just chuck this over the top and hide all the frizz. I got a hair accessory as well. I got this bow. Isn't that so gorgeous? Like We got sunglasses, by the oh, way. Yeah. The brand is Kimono. I only own a black pair of sunnies, so I'm really happy about having like a lighter color to go with my beige kind of looking fits. I also got this from a vintage store. Just a collared long sleeve top Y2K with this pattern on it. I don't know, I love blue. I got a bunch of jewelry, which I never buy jewelry. And I just feel like jewelry can really make an outfit just pop. This is the brand that I got the jewelry from. This is also the brand Renee's jacket is from. I got a flowery little necklace. I thought this would be perfect in Euro summer. It's got all the colors, look. And I never wear bracelets, but I'm really getting into wearing bracelets. I've literally just been wearing these two, which are from Rare Rabbit. But I came across this one. I love pearly kind of pieces. And then another little bracelet, little butterflies. And then the last piece is a another chunky necklace. It's not that chunky, but it's chunky for me. Like I don't really wear necklaces like this. Good. That's it. I got a perfume. It smells so good. 
I don't even know what brand it is. Bon Perfume 203. If I really like this perfume, it's going to be a struggle to repurchase. Like, do I have to come all the way back to Amsterdam to repurchase this perfume? Yup. This packaging's really cool. You open it up like that, and then it's like, oh, how do you get that out? Boom, poke your oh. finger through, and boom. See? It's so small, too. Oh. That's small. Should I get another one tomorrow? Whoa. It's got like a hint of musk. It's very sweet. Vanilla. -y. We found a shop called Pool and Bear. Pool and Bear. Uh, first time I've heard of it. I was in there for five minutes and then I had about eight items and Max trying on was six, so I had to put two down. This is a top that Renee got. Just yep. like a nice oversized t-shirt. I got some denim shorts. Oh my God, try them on. She yeah. didn't try them on. I didn't try them on. Oh, here we go. I got this cute summery dress and the top of it is so pretty. Look at this. And then the back is a little bit open. And I love this color. What do you reckon? Yeah, perf. They work really well. I feel like the back is quite high. High. But. That's fine. Mine are high. Look at them. Yeah. Yeah, I like them a lot. They're really <clears> comfy. <throat> yeah, very nice. Oh, I got this. I didn't try this on actually. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to like this. Guys, this top. My favorite top I've put on in 2024. This. <gasps> it's Holtenek. I knew you would be loving oh, it. Oh my lordy. I know, the blue. Oh, okay, I got this top. It's completely see-through. A white top under it, surely. Like a little bralette. But like, it would also look so much nicer without anything under it. But like, titty. I've got a white little thing. And it's open at the top. I love those little frills. And then the last piece that I got is this hat, which was a very spontaneous moment. I just saw it and was like, thank you, I love that. This is a very rare occasion, but I bought a skirt. I should have tried this on before purchasing purchasing it because I'm not sure I if I like it. I think because there's nothing going on in there. <laughs> this is the top. What do you think? I love it. You can try that one. Renee wants to sell this to me. This is the dress. <gasps> How much? Not. No, no, wait, let me try Selling this one. <laughs> okay, this, this top, I actually really like it. I feel like it suits me. It actually suits you so much better. I'm going to buy it. But anyway, this is the jacket. Such a cool jacket. Oh, it's actually cool. sides and did that. Yeah, that actually works. Yeah, I love that skirt. Mm. This is the other top. I reckon um, nipple pads because that, yeah. that frill is going to kind of hide the nipple. Oh, I knew it was going Okay, nipple pads. That's all you need. Yep. This with some jeans. It looks so nice. Jeans? Some pants. That's better. Yep, this is the fit. Yeah, I really like that. That works so well. Looks good with Okay, the obviously not with the sh booty shorts. A little white skirt. A little white skirt. Okay, that's all. We're going to bed now. See you tomorrow. As you can see, we've got our new outfits on. Feeling good. I feel like a new woman. So the plan is today, we're gonna go to a museum. Hopefully there's this one that's like very popular. Um, I'll put it on the screen because I literally cannot pronounce that. I'm not gonna try. And then also get some good food again because that's like the best part of traveling in my opinion. You know what? We haven't planned a lot. I would love to get my ass on a bike because this is literally the city of bikes. And then also on a canal would be really, really beautiful. Oh, on, did I say on a canal? Yeah, I think you did. On a boat going down the canal. In a boat on the canal. Oh, fuck, I don't know. Another thing, which is kind of a pain, but it's okay, is like when you need to go to the toilet, there's not a lot of toilets around. Um, and if you need to go, you have to pay. Um, we went into some pub and we're like, oh, we're so busting. And he's like, oh, one euro. And Renee needed to go as well. Like, and he's like, two euro. And I was like, oh, like, yeah. you, look, like we get periods. Can't we just have free toilets <laughs> for the women? <laughs> yeah, well, we have to pay for pads and shit. We've come to a cafe and we've ordered a sandwich and two iced oat lattes. So excited for an iced coffee. I haven't had an iced coffee in a long time. I'm about to say his name. Excited. Mm. We've got an avocado sandwich. It's got spinach and tomato and fresh avocado. 
the last photo on the film camera now it's just like folding it all up got some more film we're just about to refill the camera and take some film photos in Amsterdam because like that's a must isn't it <laughs> you want to make sure it's all wound up otherwise all your photos are ruined and then you just pop that out we're gonna take that to a store okay it's good it's working now it's working it would say it would, it, say it, it would say error this is the Olympus Zoom 105 Deluxe and we got it online on this website called Shutter Film Co. Um, I'm from Australia so I'm assuming it's an Australian site if you're not from Australia. Um, I'm sure there's like other websites you can go online and get some film cameras. This one is amazing. It's a little pricey. I think it was like 400 300 and something. 300 dollars. Yeah. But oh my god it takes the best photos. <laughs> train station lining up to talk to someone about an international train guys if we're gonna keep it real with you we're feeling a little bit stressed because we haven't actually planned this euro trip at all we have nowhere to stay after amsterdam and we're trying to figure out where we want to go next we're thinking berlin but we're online last night trying to find um, train tickets to berlin which is about six hour trip from here but there's like no seat reservations for monday which is when we want to leave and that's when our hotel we check out of our hotel if they can't find a seat for us on monday we'll try tuesday and if we can't do that then we're gonna ask um where can we go like prague we, yeah we're just not sure yet it was a huge lineup and then this guy came up to us and was like you can have my ticket because i've got to catch a bus like how lovely is that so we're pushed in line so we're at the front we're like almost up we got the ticket so the only times available was 5 30 in the morning and it's a seven hour train but like that was the only one available everything else was filled up that's okay i'm really happy that we got it now we're off to this museum it's called sex museum and, and a follower recommended this actually and then after that we're going on a boat to have some drinks. Oh my god, I'm so excited.
morning. I don't know what day we're up to in Amsterdam, but we've been spending almost a week in Amsterdam. This is our last day, actually, our last full day in Amsterdam, because tomorrow we're going to Berlin. So we just trained it, a late start to the day because we've been sleeping in because we've been so tired. We got breakfast at our pl favorite place ever. It's not breakfast. It's, a, um, it's our favorite drink place in Amsterdam. It's called Nomu. But, but we got matcha with like the tapioca pearls. So fucking good. We don't have any plans today, except we want to hire a bike and we want to go check out Vondel Park. Just check out, just gonna go for another walk around Amsterdam. There's so much to do. And also people watching is one of my favorite things to do here. fruit, strawberries and blueberries and they taste so fresh. They taste like the best blueberries I've ever eaten in my life. Really? Yep. Oh my. Strawberry time. We can't even wash them. Oh god. Oh well they need to wash don't they? Oh well. Mm. They taste so sweet. And then we also got a focaccia. Like a rosemary focaccia. With nothing on it. Yeah. It's okay. We love bread. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. Salty. It's so cool that it's got all the hustle bustle in the city area and then you just literally walk five minutes out and it's like quiet, people reading their books by the canal. It's like a beach, like people are sunbaking in their bikinis, but there's no <laughs> swimming pool in the beach. Today was honestly one of my favorite days because we literally did nothing. <laughs> we just laid in the park all day. We were there for about, what do you reckon, eight, three hours? Yep. We bought this serum on the road and it's really good. We're almost out because we've been sharing it. It also just smells really good, which usually is a red flag, but my skin's loving it. That's what the packaging looks like. Honestly, might get that one again. So we're leaving for Berlin tomorrow morning. So this is this was our last night. Really sad to say goodbye to Amsterdam, to be honest. We loved it so much, we extended. Our holiday like we were supposed to leave two days ago but we're still here if we stayed like an extra three days we would be here for pride and we didn't even know all the pride events were happening this week so the week that we're leaving amsterdam is the first country that approved gay marriage so it's like really big here and i'm actually really sad to be missing it because they have like this canal where all the boats go down the canal it's a parade but down a canal that is so cool renee's just in the background editing a video she's working we're just trying to pack our suitcases and it's a little bit harder because we have a little bit more because of the shopping that we've done in Amsterdam. So we've booked a taxi for 4.30 a.m. because the train leaves at, we already told you, 5.33. We're not warning people, guys. We struggle so bad. I picked up some of these. I've been really bad at flossing in between the bottom teeth because I have a bar. If you have a bar there, don't forget to do this because it builds up real bad down there. Oh, well, I actually got some sun today. Oh man, it's been a while. Something I really don't like actually is when people are burnt and they touch their skin and it goes like, Ew. Oh my god, it makes me want to pass out, honestly. Like, I can handle, like, the operating theatre where people are open, but I just can't handle that. Renee and I bought this the other day. We're almost, no, we're not almost out, but we've been using it every single night and morning. Our feet have just been peeling. Like, I think it's from wearing shoes, contained shoes, and then our feet get sweaty because we're walking a lot. We've had problems with our feet ever since we worked at Splendour in the Grass. If you are from Australia, you know that big festival, Splendour. We worked over the whole weekend, like, four days, and then we did it again the following year. And then after that, our feet got like this fungus and it's never been the same because splendor like it's like splendor in the mud rather than splendor in the grass this stuff seems to be helping kind of the best thing we can do is literally get the shoes off and get in nature you're probably waiting for the footage of us on a little bike which we didn't get to do there's so many people on the bikes there's like older people pregnant people kids it's still so busy and it's also like the other direction yeah it's the other side of the road but i feel like hiring a bike is definitely a must like it's i'm not saying I'm, I'm doing that if i come back to amsterdam we're, we're hiring yeah. bikes it's just you got to be like in the mood like yeah i'm in the mood to ride a bike but we were just like having fun walking it is the bike city and um we didn't get about on a bike it was chaotic it was so busy also we stayed in this really nice hotel it's called 
Park Inn by Radisson and we highly recommend if you visit Amsterdam it is out of the city which means it's a bit cheaper you just walk two minutes to the train station and you get on the Amsterdam Central train and it's literally like not even five minutes and you're yep. in Amsterdam Central and same thing back five minutes you're yep. the first stop and it's like three euro each very convenient and also there's nice restaurants in our little like area we've really enjoyed our stay here and now we're off to berlin tomorrow and we're gonna vlog the whole experience so we will see you in the next video um we haven't actually ended our videos in a very long time i know what the hell thank I you so much really for bad. watching mm, thank we you, love you guys watching. so much we appreciate you and yeah we'll see you in our next video which we're gonna be catching a train from amsterdam to berlin we just luck we're waking up at 3 30 in the morning tomorrow which yep. is in five hours love you guys we'll see you in our next video Bye. bye